Today, we're testing 2,000 IQ traps in Minecraft to see if they really work. All right, this first one is a real trap that's been used before, and it's called a parcel bomb booby trap. It's kind of like the glitter bomb you've seen Mark Rober use. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to create a cave system down here in this hole, and this is where the course is going to begin. We'll just use the natural world here to make it happen. So first thing we need is like some sort of exploding package that we can use as a trap. Well, I guess the easiest thing we can do is start with a spawn point. So now this is where the players will spawn to come in, and then like we got to get them to walk down some sort of a tunnel or a path. So my guess is we could do a bunch of trapped chests and think of those as like the packages, right? So what I'll do, I think, is line the sides with a few trap chests. Some individual ones here, put a couple over here. So only one of these chests will open up the door that they're going to have to walk through. And I think we'll make the door like right here. Dang, that feeling when it fits perfectly. I mean, you can't make that up. That is nice. So that's where the door is going to be. We'll put down some lighting too, because the players need to be able to see what they're doing if they're going to be racing through this obstacle course, of course. Now for the hard part. I think what we're going to do is start with a chest that opens up the doors down here. We'll make like a chest here. Maybe like a stupid one back in the corner. People might not see. This one will be linked up to it. So here's what we'll do. We'll do a little bit of redstone and wire that sucker up. Now, I actually, I don't 100% know how these work. Does that signal? There we go. Almost got it completed, at least on one side. All I have to do now is make a simple redstone inverter, which we'll do right back here. So now when I open this, it should open up the door. There we go. Very nice. Oh, <laughs> that's hard to get through. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if you could realistically make it through that. that. That's a very quick pulse right there. We could slow it down just a little bit. There we go. Okay, now you can make it through. And honestly, we don't even need the other one. We only need one of these things to open. So we'll just go ahead and do that. Now we've got our way to get through. So if a player comes down, figures out how to get through the gate, he just opens up this chest and he gets through. Pretty simple. Why is that green? <laughs> so there's a couple other ideas I could do. Like I could, I could blow you up, which is, you know, destroy the whole course. Or what if I made it so like it would like open up little holes? Experiment time. Now I have a special thing on my server that allows me to basically edit weird Minecraft settings. One of them says TNT. So if I disable TNT, I wonder if it still explodes, but doesn't actually deal damage. Okay, well that didn't work. Oh, I like the opening of holes ideas. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. This is gonna be this is gonna be hard. A hundred players will be racing through it. But if I were to kind of design little areas like this, okay, so imagine these pistons and this being a drop right here into lava where players would fall into lava and die. So all we have to do is have these pistons connect to a redstone inverter, which connects to a couple chests, and then every time they open the wrong one, it's gonna open this right here, which is one of many traps we could do. So this might take a minute. Okay, so now this chest should open up two of these traps. And you can see it does. So we're going to start linking these up like crazy. And then you can imagine 100 players randomly trying to find the right chest. They're just going to end up killing each other, I hope. This should trigger it. Yes. I'm actually so excited. The amount of redstone that's gone into this build is pretty darn high, but this should be pretty legit once we pull it off. Okay, so check out this crazy design. If you can still open a chest if there's staircases above it, right? You can still open that. To hide the redstone wiring, what I could do is put item frames with maps on it, and the maps are a little bit bigger than a normal block, which means if I do this all the way around, you actually can't really see the redstone as easy. I mean, you can see it, but it's not as glaringly obvious as it was before. And if nothing else, at least this kind of looks cool, I guess. I don't know. We're going to commit to it. Take a look at how insane this is. Every single chest, except for the one that's right underneath the very main entrance here, every other one of these chests will trigger a massive amount of these traps to drop you into a giant hole. So take a look. If I open that up, just lava holes form everywhere. But if they open this and get it right, and then someone else opens a chest, this one will trigger by specific chests, and they could fall down there still. So let's open this. We gotta literally like parkour it and time it even harder. <laughs> oh, that's difficult. Okay, we made it through. So it is possible. That's also a good sign. So you can make it through. This next one is one of the scariest traps ever. I'm, I'm not even kidding you. If you don't like snakes, you're going to hate this one. This is called a snake tree. So they would nail, nail an angry snake to a tree and a door. And they would literally just dangle there. And when you came near them, they go. <laughs> okay, I've already got the idea. I've already got the idea. End rods. End rods and eyes of ender. Those together will look a little bit like snakes, I think. Like, for example, you walk in here and you see like something like this two eyeballs and like some you know some snake fangs coming down like that actually kind of looks like a snake a little bit what we could do here is have a little bit of fun with it put a couple snake eyeballs down and these will signify locations where we're going to be making the trap so it'll go all the way through this little hallway right here another little eyeball here maybe a double give each of them their fangs all right and i'm still not sure how it's gonna kill you but that's a future problem right i mean it definitely looks cool like i mean well i don't know if it looks cool i think it looks cool and maybe we could do something like this I like that. It's almost like they're they're like a like a like. Uh, okay, let me let me build this. Hold on. 
The idea is I'm going to use a command block to make it so every single end rod gives you a little bit of poison damage. So if you touch any of these, you'll get poisoned by the snake's fangs that are dangling from all around you. Once you come through, you'll hit this command block, and that's going to give you nausea for 60 seconds. So no one's going to realize that once they make it through. So they're going to have to make it through like this, which will be a little bit more challenging. But still, I think if you um, know what you're doing, it's not that difficult to get through. It'll make it a little harder. Guys, I, I don't understand why there's so many fangs here. I mean, we got out of control real quick. I just kept adding them. I'm still adding them. I'm just, there's no stopping in sight here. Oh my gosh! Guys, this is the craziest thing ever. I just went to Google how to use a Minecraft command, and I Googled it and then typed in Reddit. And you won't believe this, but the post that I literally found said, I need a stone cutter command, and I saw it in a lover fella video. This is so weird. With this command being always active, what this should mean now is, and I'm gonna cover it up so players can't see it. What this should mean is now if you're in survival mode and if you touch any of these, you're gonna get poisoned. So let's walk through and see. There we go. So you can see we got a little bit of poison there, but it didn't really do a lot to us. So let's make the difficulty on maybe hard. There it is. Yeah, okay, that's good. Now, a snake bite's gonna do a little more than that. So maybe we'll do five or six. We'll do six. If I did this right, you're gonna get some pretty hefty poison damage if you touch any of these. Pretty fast, too. I mean, you gotta be real careful about it. But the thing is, there's no way to really heal in an event like this. So if you take damage here, it's gonna really hurt you later on. <laughs> I love this. This is a world edit command, which allows me to mask over all of the stone with a more creepy vibe. I feel like it gives it more of a snake feel. So now they're literally inside the snake's belly. And then to give it the ultimate feeling of a snake, we're going to do this, but we're going to take it and give it a little bit of a red, kind of a blood-like vibe through the center, which is kind of like the stomach of the snake. Totally unnecessary, but I just activated that with redstone. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Maybe it's like a tongue. That's just basically a tongue. So a bamboo whip in which a trip wire was set to release a bent bamboo pole tip with wire spikes. Basically, imagine this, a giant ball of spikes in the sky and smacks you in the face. So right back here, um, we're gonna get right out of the snake's belly. Oh, look at that, we approach a cave. Oh, okay, I mean, I guess we're gonna use a cave. Can't complain about that. And the good thing about this is it means you can't go backwards. So once you're in, you're in. So, once you leave the snakes, well, the snake with multiple snakes in its body, boom, you plop down into here where we're going to create this thing that must come from the ceiling. What I do know is there's gonna be a couple trip wires. All right, so after a good portion of thinking, I finally know how I'm gonna do this, and it's not really gonna be the same as the booby trap we saw. It is somehow inspired by it. I got a cool idea. These are going to be actually fake traps. They're literally designed just to distract you. Okay, still not sure if I really made this right, but the idea is that along the sides, we're gonna have skeleton archers behind lava waterfalls. And these lava waterfalls mean when the skeleton sees you, it's gonna snipe you with a fire arrow, which is kind of cool. These trip wires are just here to slow you down. You're gonna try to avoid it, so you're gonna try to jump over this. And while you're trying to make all these parkour hops and avoid all the trip wires, of course, you'll be shot at by these skeleton archers. So I think it's a cool idea. Okay, they can't even shoot out, so we need to make it a little bit more difficult. Also, I don't know if they can shoot up or not, but I'd love to make some kind of design where they can actually shoot up. Now, I think carpet would stop arrows. All right, this looks immensely more difficult than it was before. You're gonna be dodging like crazy, okay? So not too bad, not too bad. The thing is, is it's possible. I just, I feel like it's still wildly easy to get through this. We're gonna need more. That looks pretty darn difficult. All right, I'm gonna be honest with you. So we've got three incredible traps right now. This isn't it. We're gonna do a lot more to make this thing crazy. Wow, look at this. This is a Reddit post about something called the Valley of Kings. And it's got a staircase. It looks like this, where the steps are different heights. This is so that you accidentally step wrong and fall down to your death while walking down. Okay, here comes a beautiful looking staircase right here. I think we can make it a little bit bigger though with 100 players because that'll probably give us more room to work with. So what I could do is expand it a little bit like this. So now you can see it's a lot bigger. Well, you tumble to your death. So I guess one option is a couple things like this, like random holes while you're running down. I mean, that'll definitely get you. I feel like we'll lose some people here, but we can do more. All right, good amount of holes right here. I mean, there's not too many, but there's enough that maybe someone who's sprinting through might accidentally fall into one of these bad boys. You could add spider web as well because they're gonna be racing. So a little bit of spider web might deter them, slow them down or make them try to avoid it and fall into a hole. So just a couple of these will help. I think we could also take some lava and just kind of place it here and just kind of see where it drains to. A little bit more challenging, I think, with the new lava pillars we've added. Now that we've got all that set up, I was like, hey, why don't we put a couple wither roses up top just to make sure they don't waste too much time sitting here thinking about what to do. 
If I were to like legitimately try, I can see there's like a path here. If you squiggle around, you can kind of walk straight down, but it obviously slows you down quite a bit. And one wrong move, you're either dead or you're going to take some damage. Now, this next one is absolutely ridiculous. There was a Reddit post about something called the Lake of Mercury. This was for China's very first emperor. And apparently all around the emperor's body was mercury and i don't think it was intended as a trap but it obviously worked as one i i don't know so if you manage to survive all these traps you're then going to enter what i call the lake of mercury so i can set the middle to water like that's an option and then i could set the bottom to blue so it looks good but like how do you make poison mercury water i mean that's not an easy design maybe just a couple of these in the water might be enough to make sure that people die when they walk through it i mean just three or four because they're already dying from so many traps but this doesn't feel like a lover fella trap it's too simple so I feel like that alone is already kind of scary. We already lost a puffer fish, by the way, which sucks because uh, I think our zombie friend killed him. So if you would please leave, sir. You know what? What if we added like a parkour course? They could try to jump through the parkour and if they survived it, they wouldn't have to worry about the puffer fish, but we'd make it super hard. So here is the really weird parkour course I made. If you can make it up to that door, you can escape. So you got to make all of these jumps. So from here to here, to here on this trap door on this trap door make it up to here and then you can run along the side obviously i'm not that great at parkour and i did it so it's a little bit too easy i think you know what we're gonna do we're gonna make this whole floor magma and if they don't realize it's magma because there'll be carpet over it they'll be taking damage the whole time and expect it to be the lava not realizing they're standing on magma so if we look back at all the traps we have right now we have created a pretty intense course including the puffer fish room the lava staircase we've got the skeleton archer room the snake room that damages you and of course the very beginning room with traps over the last hour and a half i have created a 2000 iq minecraft trap course you have one life to get through if you die you are kicked and a new player can join so wall is dropping in three two one zero very difficult to get through this course with so many players and so far nobody has made it through the first section over 100 people nobody's made it through right now we are getting some deaths here guys couple people opening the door but no one it's just it's a busy it's a busy avenue couple of them found a way through so we've got a, a lot of them in the wrong area they're just randomly exploring caves they're not they're gonna need to get back into the zone here we go here we go this guy this guy is clearly in the lead by a mile oh 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 oh, oh no they fell in the wither bush he might go down here two players right now oh goes down to a puffer that dude just vanished right in front of us this guy's trying to kill puffers doesn't real oh and he goes down too they just vanish and they get kicked immediately new batch of players coming guys you're welcome to go ahead and try to get through this course again wow look at this we're up to 160 players right now trying to get through they've all made it into the next zone you're gonna see a lot of people die here because they don't even they're not even thinking about it the poison damage crazy kid and soccer mom coming in here looking real nice guys they could they could be victorious oh he goes through the deadly stairs oh that poor oh another one i can't believe they're falling through like flies i didn't think anyone would fall for that we lost quite a few we have a herd of people here at the final zone oh man the poison is brutal they're all looking the wrong way it's right next to them and this guy gets it mr oh and he dies next guy oh and he dies too sir panda gets it if sir panda makes it he wins sir panda does it congratulations sir panda on being the champion of today's event guys sir panda is our winner today of the cash prize congratulations to sir panda and if you guys want to join events like this all you got to do is subscribe to my channel and click that link in the description to come join my server today it's free you can always leave if you don't like it peace